Hey guys, it's Chris from Firma Furniture. Um, I've got a cool, really cool idea. I'm gonna show you how I make a console table. Um, basically, we're gonna start from the from the scratch, where I where I go and you know like pick up wood, um, pick up welding, put everything together, um, paint the wood, everything from the scratch, and uh, yeah, you you will see how it's made, you know. Okay, so I'm on the way to, to pick up uh, wooden panels and um, maybe I will be able to show you how they actually made, uh, you know. Hey guys, it's Chris again. Uh, while I'm driving to pick up wooden panels, um, I just want to, you know, like tell you why am I recording this video and why I'm actually showing my whole process of how my furniture are made. Because, you know, like, um, some people might actually take the ideas and, and use them themselves, you know, in, in their companies and stuff. But it's like, it's not my point, you know. Um, I, I just want to connect with you. I, I want to show you who, who am I, who I'm, you know, like, what I'm doing, how everything looks like, you know, like, mm, what you're actually buying, how, what was the quality, you know, like, you will see life, how everything's made. And, um... You know, like, I'm just trying to connect with you in, in, in some way, you know, to, to make you feel more comfortable and to see, to see how, how your furniture actually is made, you know, like, uh, how much effort and passion I put to, 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 you know, to make every single piece. And um, the same, you know, like, with console table or with other, with other, other, other furniture I sell, you know, uh, so... This is like you know, like, like what I want to you know, like show you the the process. That's why that's why I'm doing this. You know, like, I, I just want you, I just want you to feel that it's, you know, like there's another person on the other side, side, and he's doing his best, you know, to with your furniture, you know. So yeah, enjoy watching, and um, I'm I'm sure you're gonna like it. Okay, I'm already here. And uh, now I'm gonna go and grab my wooden panels and hopefully we'll be able to show you some of the insights of this company. Okay, so this is the, this is this amazing place where I where I actually buy my wood and um, and my wooden panels and I really love what what those guys are doing you know it's like it's um, the the quality of their stuff is actually you know like really really good. If I would try to make those wooden wooden panels in my in my in my workshop, they would never be you know as good as those that you actually gonna see. And this is the place where wood is dried for like one year. The oak wood is dried for like one year before uh, they actually start to drying it in this place. This is the place where actually the wood stay for for about a couple of weeks or a month I, I don't remember exactly then it's then it's actually dried like the one you see now this is the dry wood it's like raw wood like uh, I mean just cut it to little pieces you know it's still it's still um, still not ready to, to glue up you know they cut it here then they like go through this thicknesser the one you see now and uh, after that Mm, they glue th they glue them like here and um, you know like after the gluing they they still not perfectly um, flat that's why they go again to the thicknesser they go like one piece into the thicknesser uh, on one side and on the other side then they actually cut it in this table saw you can see now and. Um, uh, you know they cut t to the size. You know, so if if you want 100 centimeters or 30, they cut this t this here, and at the end they actually um, sand. This is like a big sander. You know, uh, you press this thing on the ta on on your on the wood panel, and it makes it you know like like you know like really flat and uh, and sanded. You know, it's really nice. Companies that they wrap, wrap the the wooden panel, you know, in foil, two of them, so they never got moisture or anything like that on the way. 
Okay guys, I've got my wooden tops with me, now I'm back in the workshop and now I'm going to show you um, how I'm choosing the, the, the side that go up and the side that go down. As you can see, they both actually really nice. Um, I like those wooden knots, that's why I never actually uh, do um, wooden tops without knots. So if you ever think that you are gonna ask me and uh, I'm gonna make a table for you without knots, like this one or you know, like this one, I'm not gonna do it because that's the real wood, you know. Mm. Okay, I, I've decided that this one, this one's gonna go on the top because it's, it looks nice, you know. It's got some life into into it. And now I need to cut those corners so it fits in a in a metal frame. Now I'm gonna show you my um, secret employee who is actually doing all of the job for me. You know, he's this guy. Is, uh, this guy is amazing. He's actually invisible, and that's why you can see like, like now. Look at the quality, uh, how how he works. You know, it's, it's really uh, it's really unbelievable. smooth edges you know they were sharp now they are you know like chamfered and really nice oops that that was actually me <laughs> okay keep watching guys it's it's you know like the whole process is, is seriously tough Okay, so uh, Daniel, my customer, uh, he asked me to uh, paint the wood with Osmo, uh, which I always use and I always recommend Osmo because it's amazing. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, with Osmo, um, Osmo Color Oak uh, 3164, uh, really nice color, and it's gonna be, it's gonna look amazing with the black frame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you later. So yeah, Osmo is really cool. I love it because Osmo uh, lets your wood still breathe and it gives it, um, you can still feel the wood when you, when you touch your top, when you, when you touch your wooden top, you know, it's not like you can, you can still feel the grain and it, it's really nice, you know, you, you're gonna see after I finish.
Okay guys, apparently the metal parts parts are ready for Daniel's console. So I'm gonna head to um, to the welding to the, to my welders and see what they've got for me. Um, okay, as you have seen, um, I already picked up uh, the metal parts, the frame. Unfortunately, my uh, gimbal just died, so the rest of the video uh, will be uh, recorded from hand, so it's going to be a little bit shaky. Go inside. Nie będzie waszych twarzy, proszę się nie przyjmować. Okay, all done uh, with the frame to for today. Hopefully they're gonna manage to paint it um, like in the next couple of days. Hopefully before weekend. It's Thursday today. Here you can see my uh, laser cut logo and I'm actually uh, making a small hole it's going on the, on the bottom of, the, of, your, of your console table and um, it's, it's you know it's like a cherry on the on the top and uh, this is the this is the label that goes you know like there's your name on it when was it made by who and you know like you can always flip your table upside down one day or, or even you know, like you put your put your head underneath and and see when was it made actually and um that's that's going to be really nice you know if you're going to flip your table or so you're going to move out from from one place to another and you're going to see that oh wow uh, we actually bought this this console table like 3 years ago it's and it's still really good quality because you know <laughs> that's that's why I'm doing my furniture. You know, they they need to they I want them to last. You know, guys, thank you for thank you for watching. I I hope you enjoy the process the process of of of, of how the console table is made. You know, this is the custom size. You can always ask for different size. So thank you very much once again. Take care. Bye.